I am super excited to introduce NoFlag and uh, Minu Kim. And uh, NoFlag is a security researcher, speaker, and one of the organizers of the Taiwan Taishung Google Developer Group. Uh, Minuk is a security researcher from Team H4C, and they've developed a black box vulnerability scanner. Uh, today they're here to teach us uh, how to think about uh, vulnerabilities from the perspective of hackers. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, also, as a special surprise, they've let me know that they have a special gift for folks in the audience. So if you stick around until, until the end or just after it's finished, then, then you can receive that. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to find out. So um, yes, with all of that, please, please give a warm welcome to NoFlag and Minook. Hi everyone, and very th thank you everyone to attend here. Um, our speech will speaking about, about the interesting hacker technology view. Um, by the way, Taiwan is a very beautiful country and had a lot of attraction worth visiting during this day. And hope everyone have gained insight and learn about the hacker technology today. Um, my teacher is a web hacker since I was a high school student, student and now I be, belong to team H4C while white hat hacking team. Um, my name is Nelfrag. Currently I interning at information security company in Taiwan and also serve as Google Developer Group organizer. Uh, additionally, I conduct research in a uh, university lab, focusing mainly on network security technology. And since that year, I've been active participating in various similar and speaking engagement on cybersecurity technology. Um, this speech will cover not only the attacker muscle, but also strategy for reducing risk and protecting website. By the end, everyone should have a solid understanding of information security and be able to inframe a measure to safeguard their website. And let's talk, to talk about how... Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about why you should pay attention to security issue in WordPress. When you are a developer, you will encounter many problems in the process of developing this program. But have you ever thought that these problems are related to information security? If you think they are related, please raise your hand to let me know how many people are care about this issue. Is anyone? Okay, thank you for your response. Um, I believe that when we ignore any small problem, uh, there have a chance will, will occur a security issue. So as a developer, you should take security into a consideration during the development process. And information security fetch tree from all directions, especially the item list on the side. Developer must avoid being overconfident in the program develop and also need to consider security issue. It's better to adopt a comprehensive approach to protect system and data security. And WordPress, a web development leader since 2014, continue to thrive in popularity. With global appeal, it offers adoptability through multi language support and rich plugin selection, solidify an impact in the digital landscape. And look at this graph. You can see since 2014, Variability in WordPress has been on the rise, reaching a significant pace in 2023. There is no joking matter, and we need to take this trend seriously. And in 2022, statistics reveal that most variability in Discord WordPress issue will be related to plugin, 
While plugin has website functionality, it can also pose security risks, potentially exploited by hackers to compromise your site. Vigilance regarding plugin, plugin security is essential for both users and developers. Um, this chapter talks a little bit about the vulnerability case. Um, the code presents a potential SQL injection risk as it directly inserts user supply search query without query validation. If the piece the text is search engine query doesn't sufficiently filter user input, it can enable an authorization through malicious input. And HS non-key in WordPress is a VTOL security measure against CSR attack. If compromised, you allow attacker to simulate also like user action, risking malicious active, such as website seating modification, and even company takeover, etc. And the is allow file type muscle check the file type during upload. But if manipulated, it can lead to arbitrary file upload. And also it can move upload from Upload file function responsible for saving file becomes a potential vulnerability if exploited. Additionally, the WP insert attachment function used for processing file in WordPress may be compromised if the initial file type validation is bypassed, posing a security risk. Um, next, I briefly explain some of the ship of CVE obtained by directly creating and operating a probability scanner. In cases like this, CVE, oh, oh, like it, this CVE, a payload of a cross-site script in probability that can be triggered by entering JavaScript malicious code into input such as the authentication ID. Here's uh, how you can see a lot of functions in action. Then let's look at the payload I entered to trigger the cross-site script in probability I utilize event call, uh, event call on focus and auto focus. In this case, uh, probability arise from from the improper usage of the update option and get option function. The result uh, of the sanitizer text field function, which contains the port parameter value, is stored using the, the update option function, and the result of the get option function is then output. One might uh, assume that the presence of the sanitizer text field function guarantees safety. However, oh. however, that's not that's not be the case at all. Now let. The what the sanitizer text field function is. One can see that there is a secure function prevent hackers from inputting HTML. This code which used the sanitizer sanitizer text field function to output HTML tag in a text uh, is a safe practice. But in actual probability case, you may observe the output of authentication ID. 
within HTML attributes rather than within the inner text of, text of HTML tag. Thus, uh, it can be observed that the sanitized text field function only depends against HTML tag without blocking single or double quarter. In the end, cross-site scripting vulnerabilities occur when JavaScript is triggered through events such as on-focus and, and auto-focus. Like this. Next, in a similar scenario, there is code that appears to be attempting to prevent vulnerabilities by, by using the script slashes and script on the web function. However, similar to the sanitized text field function, it can be seen that this function only depends against HTML tag without blocking single or double quarter. Additionally, update term on meta and get term meta can code vulnerabilities in similar cases. Detection vulnerabilities pattern. Um, many vulnerabilities we are we are identified solely through regular expression. However, to increase accuracy, we decided to develop our own buzzer open investigation. We discovered a GitHub repository for the PHP code. First, uh, let me demonstrate uh, how the PHP parser works with a simple example. When passing code that assigns the parameter a value to the variables a, it divides, divides into left and right token, further subdividing into function and array offset. In addition, we discovered a method using the NodeFinder Node Finder, Node Finder class to retrieve all token such a variable declared in this way before searching for vulnerability. We identified which token to pass and considered the variables, various possible scenarios. Furthermore, when considering the code areas for responsible for handling parameter values that hackers can input in actual PHP project, we divide them into three categories, global function and class. We pay attention to passing process that, that involve various interac interactions, such as parameter path to function, it takes a return values from function globally declared, declared variables or class method when function are called from the global scope. We have examined the passing process. Now let's explore the scenario of finding vulnerability for cross-site scripting vulnerability. We focus on the fact that the input is directly exposed on the page. So if we inspect all the process in PHP code that accept input as parameter. Mm, there are several very ways to input data, including the super global variables, 
get both met and liquid. After passing this variable, she slowly. We pass this function like echo, print underscore r, and VAI dump that output variables containing input values. Ultimately, when summarizing the code case for flashing, we track them down into three scenarios. Case where super global variables like that, get, port, and request are used. Next, CXRF vulnerabilities involve authentication, authenticated users with various permissions to make specific requests to the web application. In other words, in if the server does not verify to the user's identity using a CXRF token, the application is considered vulnerable to CXRF attack. Let's examine a CXRF vulnerability case. Uh, I did cover it as an example in the provided code. We can see that it accepts a parameter called check ID and invoke date, database related code. Therefore, uh, all that needed is, is to simply get the value of check ID and send the request. If I inject malicious code into check ID and make people click the submit button in the HTML within the prompt tag, ultimately when the administrator clicks the button containing the malicious code, an unintended request is made leading to a CXRF vulnerability. Thus, if the server does not receive and identify users using a CXRF token, it can be identified, identified as a CXRF vulnerability. In actual patch case, you can see the use of the verify launch function to check Check CXRF ultimately knowing the, knowing the pointers that identify vulnerabilities make automation easier. In the previous chapter, we talked about WordPress vulnerability. Now, let's talk about how to reduce the risk of this security attack and common vulnerability face case. The code may support the entire website to malicious action, such as redirect or distribution, and depending on where user input is accepted. Additionally, a security arises from an get output in echo statement, posing a risk of cross square attack problem when displaying value from get option in HTML input fields. And this code defines again cross square attack using a multi layer approach. It filters user input with filter sanitized string to ensure bio string data, then it's gathered with ESC ATTR to prevent HTML or JavaScript execution. Sorry. And SQL injection occurs when user input is in property handle, risking data compromise and it allows taker to each or or insert malicious data. So if we want to prevent this, we can use WPDP to prepare with press holder and validate input as shown in a provide code snippet using INTBLO for integers. Um, this code, although it validates the authorization of the user, does not validate a nonce token. Um, let's call prevent CSR attack by checking user privacy and validating the present and validity of CSR token. 
using WP Bear Finance before allowing to uh, update operation. This ensure only ledger main required can modify setting. So as a developer, you should not think of security protection only after a security problem has occurred. And security is a continual, continuous change with involving three, minimize risk and through update measure and training employees on security awareness and regular system review. A step better and adapt to new tree for ongoing data and system safety. Um, risk based redemption is essential for effective security. Assessing impact and likelihood to categorize risk and prioritize urgent measures for high risk and plan for median risk and monitor or make minimal adjustment for low risk. According to the suggestion, allowable resource for optimized security measure. So a security focused software development life cycle integrates security requirement from the start, ensuring a secure architecture information with secure coding practice and regular testing and deployment includes through security measures. This approach guarantees robust application less safeguard user data and uphold the organization reputations. Um, I hope everyone has gained insight and learned technology on how to protect website, website security in today's speech. Um, we will not have an on-site QA at this time, but you can contact us by scanning the QR code and uh, QR code have our blog uh, link. So, uh, made out, or you, you can mail out at the event menu of Work in Asia. And thank you all for your participation. But, okay, and wait a minute. And we are going to get a audience a very important gift, and I believe that all developer will need to list very much. It's called Gregby, and we Taiwanese really on that to protect our device. But the number we have prepare only 120 maybe. And so if any foreigner want to list, can press wait the in line here. Or we we will take you take this to you. Um, uh, very sad everyone to attend our speech. Um, we have spent a very meaningful time together. Thank you. Do I need to get afterward? After the handout or before? I know it's part of the procedure. Uh, I can, I, ah, okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. Do you Oh, the MC one. Yeah, I feel something. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I feel something. Yeah, feel free. Right. Yeah. I think if it's okay with you, they want to do a presentation of a gift and a picture. Is that okay? Okay. 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 Bye. All right. Thank you so much, Noflag and Minuk. I have a special gift for you both, if you, okay, if you would okay. like. Okay. Very safe. <laughs>